example with this video on how to tackle this issue of uh, or error code for 3194 which you can probably see on iTunes while you're connecting your iPad or iPhone so and uh, also these other error codes that you can see on the next page um, so let's go ahead and see how we can uh, fix those issues alright so you first of all want to make sure that your iTunes is stopped on your Mac or Windows PC alright so to get onto the hosts file um, I'm actually using um, Windows 10 and uh, it's basically kind of the same for Mac if you wanted to do it for Mac so let's go ahead and do this you want to go onto the Windows um, button here and then you want to go to all files then you might want to go to this PC then I can see from the um, list there first of all we need to go to the Windows um, C drive and then we need to go on to the Windows then it's the system 32 right system 32 and then it's uh, drivers so let's see where is drivers drivers okay so and then it's it's Citra and then it's host so I don't, for some reason I couldn't see it on the first time so I had to do a little search in here um, saying EGC and then it will just come uh, anyway um, I found it now somehow um, it's there so you want to double click on hosts uh, you want to open it with any any program so I'm going to be using notepad in here so there is something that you need to paste in here right okay so now that we have opened the file uh, which is just double clicking on that file paste this line on there and then you need to save it so to save it you just go on to file and save um, you can save this on the same um, area I'm just going to say save uh, it just says that you don't have uh, permission It doesn't give us permission because um, note that on three it says the open host file with an administrator rights so I'm going to show you guys how to do that so to open a file with administrator rights we're going to be using obviously the notepad that we have, we have already shown you in here so you want to go to windows and you want to go to notepad just write note in there and then notepad should come up uh, you want to right click on it, it says run as administrator, so you want to click on there, then you want to say yes, and now uh, you want to go through those tips again, um, so you want to say open, you want to go to my PC, Windows C, um, Windows, and then you want to go to system32, and drivers etc uh, in here you want to say all uh, then you want to go to host you double click on it and you want to just paste that line in here so let's get that line okay so you want to be pasting it on the last line of this file um, now to save it you want to say save this shouldn't give you that um, a prompt that I was saying that you're not an admin um, so this should just save um, and then you, you can see that there's no um, a prompts or anything for admin um, privileges or anything okay so now we close this right so step 5 says connect iPhone or iPad to PC via USB cable and open iTunes then on step 6 you wanna press on press onto the power button for 10 seconds to turn off your iPhone follow step 7 as it says this is basically you put in your phone onto the recovery mode step 8 is 
important because um, this can erase all the data on your iPhone or iPad or iPod. Uh, make sure that you have saved your data onto iCloud or anywhere on iTunes before you do this. Uh, this page just says that iPhone has um, detected a recovery mode. So after you have selected that you want to uh, restore your iPhone, iPad or iPod, um, you should go back to the hosts file and remove that line that we pasted on there um, and then so that the Windows can update itself as uh, usual. Um, make sure that you do this step because it's very important and it is uh, towards the end of the uh, steps now for you. Alright, so I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and love you all. Bye.